Okay, here's a little different one for Nathan's Garage. Engine mounts on a 2011 Mercedes GLK, which I have been dreading for a long time. Today, bit the bullet and did it. Seen several videos on YouTube, taking longer than eight hours and taking alternators off, AC pumps off, all the accessories, belts, all that kind of stuff. We did it in under two hours. It's totally doable on axle stands, on a driveway. It started with two of us and there were three of us doing it by the end, but it's totally doable with two in, like I say, a couple of hours. Here we go. Before we start, I wanted to give you a quick look at the scoundrel in question. So the mounts are the same on both sides and this is basically it. Super simple, it's a hydraulic mount. Uh, the bolts on the side were either a 13 or a 14, can't quite remember now. The top one is a 16. Then you have a heat shield that goes over the top, which are a couple of tens. Those are the only bolts you actually have to undo to get these mounts out. Let's take a closer look. So that's it, as I say, that's the mount itself. You'll be able to see that bulb from the bottom later in the film. That's the bottom, that's the top. This guide pin here comes on the outside, on the chassis leg side of each side. The two mounts are the same. You've got two bolts here, as I say, they're either a 13 or a 14. You have a 16 on top and you have the heat shield held on the top by two tens and you have your exhaust manifold which is just here which is super tight um, and that's what makes it awkward so what we're doing right now is the passenger side engine mount trying to get to it and if you can see right uh, right on the end of my finger there we're taking the battery off right now because we just realized that if you don't take the battery off you can short something out on the starter which I just did so we're now uh, removing this uh, cover there. Wait a minute. So we're removing that dust shield on top or heat shield on top and then we can get to the nut on top of the actual mount itself. Then do the two nuts there and then hopefully this will come inwards and down once we've lifted the engine up. Now obviously we've got access to this because we've taken off the big plastic right guard um, that was on underneath the engine before. So we've got the heat shield off and that's what you can see from the top. So just underneath the uh, exhaust manifold that you can see there is the nut and you can see a little guide square pin as well on the top of the mount. Now this is the 16 mil wrench that we got from Pelican Parts which doesn't work um, because the angle is too shallow and doesn't sit down into the actual top of the mount to get at the nut. And it's also too long and hits the chassis leg before you can turn anything. So we're basically making another uh, shortened 16 mil socket that's about that long and we're going to weld a, a socket on the end of it so we can get the leverage and get it sat on the nut well enough so it doesn't you know jump off and round it off so that pelican parts doesn't work okay so the rush tastic budget and scarper llc tool worked um look uh, see look at that came on this is much <laughs> Okay, so trolley jack underneath the little inspection cover on the edge so it doesn't bend. I've got to do this quickly because Rusty's being a princess and he doesn't like me filming. <laughs> so I don't know if we can even see this. So, so we've lifted the engine up and basically through this gap right here, um, it's come out. So new mounting. So this is the easier side with clearance. We've got steering shaft on the other side. But basically we just lifted the engine up about... Sorry, this is upside down. I haven't... About probably three or four inches, and this mount on the passenger side dropped out. Okay, so this hole in the driver's side wheel well is the same as the passenger side, and that's where the mount came out through. So we didn't have to take any of the front accessories off. Uh, it's up there, the actual mount. Can see, ah, there we go. There's the mount itself. Didn't have to take steering rack off, column off, anything like that. Um, but I'm going to show you the tool in a short while that we did this with, and it's an ingenious little thing made by a damn fine friend of mine. So there we go. All done. All in. Heat shields are back on there. You can see the hole. This side, you don't need to pull the, the mount out of that hole. But yeah, basically get the engine up about three inches, jack it up, and I'm going to show you the tool that I have been hiding until this point. 
And again, the mount goes out through that hole when the engine's lifted up. And it's literally three bolts and two bolts for a heat shield. It's actually not that bad a job. I was expecting it to be way, way worse. So there we have the difference between the two uh, wrenches. This one is from Pelican Parts, which doesn't work because um, it's too long basically and um, it's no better than anything you know just a normal 16 16 mil and it also doesn't have enough of an angle on it whereas this one that we made has more of an angle and it's shorter and then we just put you know a three quarter inch long long extension from the top of the engine bay into it and that was enough leverage to actually get the nut out so there you go that's the tool that works that's the tool that doesn't and that pretty much is all she wrote. It is that simple. You've got the three bolts that hold the mount on, the two bolts that hold the shield on, and then the tool that we made really is the key to making it simple where you don't have to take everything off the engine to get access to the actual mount itself and lifting the engine up three to four inches. So that's it. Get to it. It's not that bad. Thanks for watching Nathan's Garage. Catch me at Facebook and Instagram, Nathan's Garage Official. Bye.